In this video, we'll be using implicit differentiation to find the slope of the tangent line. Our problem is to determine the slope of the tangent line to the graph of x squared plus 4y squared equals 4 at the point square root of 2, negative 1 over square root of 2. So first we want to find the derivative. The derivative of x squared is 2x. And since that term is already an x, we don't need to multiply by anything for the chain rule. The derivative of 4y squared is 8y, but we need to multiply by dy dx for the chain rule. And then the derivative of 4 is 0. We need to now solve for dy dx. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So cancel. And I have 8y dy dx is equal to a negative 2x. Divide both sides by 8y. These will cancel, and I have dy dx is equal to a negative x over 4y. Now we can substitute x is root 2 and y is negative 1 over root 2 for our point. So dy dx is equal to a negative root 2 over 4 times a negative 1 over root 2. And to simplify this, we can cancel off our negatives. And uh, let's multiply top and bottom by root 2. This root 2 and this one will cancel off. And I have dy dx is equal to square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. And then 4 times 1, which is 4. So this simplifies to 1 half which means then the slope of our tangent line at root 2, negative 1 over root 2 is 1 half. Let's do another one. Determine the slope of the graph of 3 times x squared plus y squared quantity squared equals 100xy at the point 3, 1. So our derivative of this left side, this is a um, composite function. So I'm going to, it's going to be 3. And then uh, the derivative of the outside function since this is a quantity squared, will be 2 times that quantity to the first power, and then times the derivative of the inside, which will be 2x. And I don't need the chain rule there, but on this one, I have 2y and then dy dx. And my inside part here is x squared plus y squared. On the right side, I have a product. So the first part is 100x times the derivative of y, which is 1 times dy dx, plus the second factor, y, 
times the derivative of the first one, which is 100. And I don't need the chain rule there. So let's simplify this a little bit. And in fact, since I'm finding the slope at the point 3, 1, I can go ahead and substitute 3 for x and 1 for y and make this even simpler. So here I have 6. Um, my x value is 3. And my y value is 1. That's multiplied by 2 times 3 plus 2 times 1 times dy dx equals 100 times 3 times 1 times dy dx plus 1 times 100. So I'm just going to simplify this out. I need to find dy dx because that will be the slope of my graph. So I have um, 6 times this is 9 plus 1, so 10 times 6 plus 2 dy dx equals 300 dy dx plus 100. Um, let's distribute 60 through this binomial. So I have 360 plus 120 dy dx. And on the right side, I have 300 dy dx plus 100. Subtract 360 from both sides. These will cancel. And then subtract 300 dy dx from both sides. And these will cancel. So I end up with a negative 180 dy dx equals a negative 260. Divide both sides by a negative 180. So cancel and dy dx is equal to positive 13 over 9. So the slope of my graph at the point 3, 1 is 13 nights.